Buying a bigger or more expensive home than you currently own can have amazing or devastating results depending on how you finance it. Now you might be asking yourself how it can be devastating and I'll tell you in one minute. But first, buying a bigger home is a great accomplishment. An amazing new experience and oftentimes includes growing families, promotions at work, or a new family dog that needs room to run. Which I guess for me, that dog would actually be included in a growing family. And the great news is that it's possible to buy your new home and create a superb financial situation for yourself. For most people, the secret lies in the down payment. In a move up purchase, the down payment typically comes from the equity in the house you're currently living in. And you get that cash from either selling your home or getting the equity through a new loan. Unless, of course, you're flush with cash or plan on using some of your other liquid investments. But most people are going to use their equity. Either way, since this is a bigger home than you currently live in, the down payment is probably more cash than you've ever parted with. And that's where the danger lies. When you have a big sum of money, some people want to put it all towards the down payment. And that's okay for, I don't know, maybe 10% of people. But when something is okay for 10% of people, that means that pretty much for 90% of people, it could be detrimental to their future financial health. I put together a short list for you that you can think of as buckets or stages for your cash. Following these simple steps will give you the highest probability of a successful financial future when buying a bigger home and minimizing the chances of foreclosure. First one, when you have a lot of cash that you want to put down, one of the most important things to do if you don't already have one is to create a financial safety net. This safety net is like three to six months of your expenses and your expenses will include the new mortgage payment, your car payments, student loans, monthly payments on your credit cards, and even your expected utility bills. Whatever you spend monthly, you want three to six months saved up. And with this cash sitting in a savings account, you'll know that even if you lose your job, you'll be safe. The second thing you'll want to do is make sure you get rid of any bad debt. Pay off your cars, credit cards, installment debts, or anything that's not your mortgage. This will actually lower the amount of outgoing cash you'll basically have pre-spent on a monthly basis. If you pay off all these debts and eliminate these payments before you buy your new home, it's going to make the bigger monthly mortgage payment just feel like a lot less. Once you're sure that you have your safety net and you've eliminated your bad debt, then it's time to determine the down payment and loan program that's right for you. There are a lot of ways to structure a loan and you'll be much safer with a lower down payment knowing that you have additional money in the bank and lower monthly payments by eliminating that debt each month. Of course, you'll want to make sure the house you buy and the loan program you select allows you to maintain your lifestyle and put some money away for retirement. And there's more videos about that on our channel here, so feel free to check them out. Just be sure to remember that buying a bigger home when done right is incredible, and that's what our team is here to do. Help you buy your new home the right way.